Introducing the Conquest Maxima 50BT Walk Behind Floor Scrubbing Machine. This video is a guide for operators of the Conquest Maxima 50BT to demonstrate how to safely prepare, use and maintain the machine. A little knowledge can go a long way and following these simple instructions will ensure trouble-free operation and maximum performance from your investment. Remember, it is important that you've also read and understand the printed manual provided with your Conquest Maxima 50BT for detailed operation and maintenance instruction. Please note also that this video covers operation and maintenance of the standard Conquest Maxima 50BT model. Please speak to your Conquest representative for specific instructions regarding any modifications or upgrades to your machine. Let's start with a quick tour of your Conquest Maxima 50BT floor scrubber to help you become more familiar with the technology and terminology referenced throughout this video. Starting with the tanks, your machine has a 60 litre solution and 65 litre recovery tank capacity. The two tanks sit on top of each other, with the recovery tank positioned at the top with a hinged fold back access. It is important that the tanks is empty before tilting back the tank assembly to avoid liquid entering the machine. Under the tank assembly, you'll find the batteries. At the front of the machine is the scrub deck. Water flows to the scrub deck from the solution tank for dispersal during scrubbing. Moving to the rear of the machine, you will find the control panel. And then toward the lower rear, the squeegee assembly is located. Wastewater is drawn up through the squeegee hose via a drain saver, which collects any debris to prevent clogging the drain hoses. The vacuum motor is protected by a removable flow shutoff for ease of cleaning after use. Each day before use, it is important that you perform a pre-start check of your Conquest Maxima 50BT floor scrubber to maintain maximum scrubbing performance and prevent unplanned maintenance and downtime. First, inspect the scrub deck and pads or brushes. Check for damage to the head and ensure it is sitting straight. Check the brushes, pads are secure and not worn or torn. To remove the brush pad holder, activate the toggle switch shown twice. Holding it after the second time and the brush pad holder will disengage. To engage brush pad holder, place brush pad on the ground centrally underneath the scrub deck. Next, lower the scrub deck onto the brush pad using the foot lever as shown and gently pull the drive lever forward. This will lock in the brush pad. Next, inspect the squeegee assembly. Remove the squeegee assembly with the quick release fittings and flush with water. The squeegee assembly consists of a front and rear rubber. Ensure that the rubber squeegee blades are clean and free from tears of damage. The blades may be rotated so they wear more evenly or replace as required. Step back and walk around the machine to visually inspect for any other signs of damage or wear that may prevent the proper function of your Conquest Maxima 50BT floor scrubber. Now fill the solution tank with water and chemical from the front port using main port or built-in hose. At the rear of the machine, you will see a solution level indicator tube. Be careful to ensure you do not overfill the tank. At the rear of the machine, there is a screw-off tap to discharge the clean water tank as required. It is important not to leave chemicals sitting in the solution tank for more than one day. Now we will introduce step-by-step -step instructions for the effective operation of your Conquest Maxima 50BT scrubbing machine to clean floors in a single pass. Step 1. Power up your Conquest Maxima 50BT scrubbing machine by turning the key in the ignition to the ON position. The small screen will illuminate on the battery indicator. Please wait until the battery indicator is showing before operating the machine. This screen also shows the operational hours of the machine. Step 2. Set solution flow using side toggle as shown. Step 3. Lower the scrub deck using the scrub deck foot pedal, which is located on the rear of the machine and is operated as shown. Step 4. Set your speed control using the variable speed hand lever. It's important not to try and clean too fast. Choose a speed that allows for thorough cleaning taking into account the texture of the surface and how dirty it is. Step 5. Lower your squeegee by moving the lever from right to left. This is the on position 
and will activate the squeegee and the vacuum motor at the same time. For reverse movements, press reverse button located on the control panel, then use the hand lever as shown. Step 6. Drive forward using the hand lever. Once depressed, all the systems will automatically activate. The lever is spring-loaded and will automatically return to the standby position when your hand is removed. To brake, lift your hand off the accelerator lever. This will stop the machine automatically. Note emergency stop button situated below main control panel. Remember to always operate the machine in accordance with the printed manual supplied with your Conquest Maxima 50BT floor scrubbing machine. At the end of your scrubbing cycle, it is important to drain and clean your Conquest Maxima 50BT and perform some quick daily maintenance. Before performing daily maintenance, please ensure you review the daily maintenance checklist in your Conquest Maxima 50BT manual for a detailed understanding on how to correctly maintain your machine. First, drain the recovery tank over an approved floor drain. To do this, turn off the power, then release the cap on the drain hose and allow recovered water to drain accordingly. Be careful to avoid skin contact in case of contamination. With the machine still positioned over the drain, open your recovery tank housing, flush the tank clean with fresh water and allow to drain. Remove the drain saver basket to ensure it is clean and in good working condition. Check the recovery hose for any damage or wear. Once satisfied, replace as shown. Also, check the black vacuum hose for any wear or damage. Empty fresh water solution tank. When chemicals are added to the solution tank, it must be emptied at the end of each use, as shown. Clean down all tanks and wipe the seals. Inspect and clean the recovery tank. Check the recovery tank hinges for signs of wear or damage. Check that recovery tank lid seals, vacuum screen and tank are clean and in proper working condition. Wipe down the recovery tank seals and tank as shown. Once a week, you should also perform a detailed inspection of the solution tank. Check the tank for damage or scratches that could possibly cause leaks. Check the front solution fill screen and port and make sure that the solution cover and screen are cleaned and in good condition. Once you have cleaned your tanks, it is important to wipe over your machine with a mild spray and wipe cleaning detergent. Caution. It is important not to spray near the electronic control panel or any motors, as moisture may cause damage. Check batteries and charge. Check the batteries are free of corrosion and there is no visible signs of leaks. Check the power leads are in good working condition, free from wear of damage. Always ensure the AC power lead is pulled out and stored in the top compartment to avoid damaging the charger. It is important to always use the original equipment charger which has been especially designed to recharge your Conquest scrubbing machine. Plug the Conquest Maxima 50BT into charge overnight for a minimum of 8 hours, only when the battery indicator is showing 2 bars or less. The fully automatic charger will indicate the status of the battery pack by 3 indicator lights and will terminate when fully charged. Finally, check the scrub deck for signs of wear or visible damage. Report any concerns. Careful operation coupled with this simple maintenance routine will ensure you keep your Conquest Maxima 50BT floor scrubber in peak condition, ready to deliver great results again and again and again.